It is time to round up one of the biggest headlines of the week. Several bills about marijuana are making their rounds in the state legislature. The Texas House Committee held hearings on three different bills aimed at decriminalizing marijuana possession. The Texas Young Republicans even came out in support of decriminalization. Are the odds still long, though, that anything will get passed? Marijuana is our topic this half hour, and we want to hear from you on the Fox 26 Facebook page and on Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our roundup panel. It's led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico. We also have our news analyst, Mustafa Tamiz, and public policy analyst, Jackie Valley. It's your favorite topic, guys. My, you know, All my, right. My it seems topic. to be the topic that's really going to define this legislature this year. And, and isn't that sad? <laughs> All the things that we have to deal with, all of the real true problems we have, the legislature's bogged down on, on whether or not people can get high. And let me just talk about the young Republicans for a minute. Who did? Who would have guessed that the young Republicans are pot smokers? Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, it, it is a big issue, quite frankly. I make fun of it because I think there's more important things to deal with. But what we have been doing for, for since the war on drugs started in, in the late 70s is we have made an entire generation of criminals out of people who are recreational pot smokers. Whether or not you agree or disagree with, with the use of marijuana, uh, to make this many people, uh, to give them criminal convictions out of this many people is really wrong. It sets people on a, on a path that they probably don't need to be on and it makes it harder for them to get into college, harder for them to get a job. And that's why states all over the country, including Texas, are looking at it, are looking at this issue. So it is an important issue. I just personally think, Jackie Valley, that we have more important things to deal with in the great state of Texas than whether or not people have a right to smoke pot. Yeah, I, I, like I was telling you earlier, I've never even smoked pot. And now coming on the show, that's all we're talking about is pot. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I should say that there are many young uh, Republican groups, not just the young Republicans <laughs> that are making this position. It was a joke. I know. <laughs> I just I need to clarify, <laughs> defend my young Republicans. 39% um, of Republicans still are, that's a small number. Those are the only ones who are uh, really in favor of this. And our current governor, Governor Abbott, says that he is in favor of the laws the way they currently are, which is a different position than his predecessor, uh, Rick Perry, who was pushing decriminalizing. In a different position so, than he took in the in the campaign, isn't it? No. Okay. He, he, he's always been pretty much right. uh, steady on that. But uh, so I think it's it, it's going to be part of this discussion, but I really don't think it's going to get any further. How about that? Well, it's it's a there's a difference between decriminalization and legalizing right. marijuana. Legalizing marijuana uh, for viewers means that, uh, you know, that it's like selling cigarettes or any other product. You can, you can buy it, you can sell it, you can consume it, no, no, no uh, you know, detriment to yourself. But when you decriminalize it, that means that you still can't sell it, you still can't transport it because that's an that's a illegal offense. But for some small levels of possession, you would get a ticket rather than uh, being sent to jail. And that's the key to this, that if you decriminalize it, right now, we, as the United States, we uh, jail over 2 million people. That's almost the size of the city of Houston at an enormous uh, cost to the taxpayers. And we've got to come up with a better solution. There is some merit to the argument, let's don't make a whole class of criminals out of people who are just smoking marijuana. Sure, but then there's also some merit to many of the studies that say marijuana is, is the gateway drug to harder drugs, and, and those who are opposing that will throw those studies in your face too. So each, each side has their own story. Uh, I think the committee's going to have a lot of discussion. I think you're going to see a lot of groups coming up there. But again, I don't think you're going to see any change in our laws because a majority of the Republicans are pretty much con um, set satisfied with the way the laws are currently. You know, Mustafa, I make fun of this topic, but on my YouTube channel, which is not the biggest study in the world, but out of the 300, vi almost 300 videos I've posted, the very first marijuana story we did has been viewed three th over 3,000 times, 19% of the views on my YouTube channel have been on the legal, should Texas legalize marijuana behind Ted Cruz and everything else. That, that says something. Well, I, I think it, some people understand the gravity of this issue, right? We jail one out of, you know, four people in the world. I mean, that, that is an, an enormous number. The size of the city of Houston is what the jail population looks like in the United States. 
we have to come up with better solutions. And this war on drug has just failed, and it's costing us an enormous amount of money that we could have been putting on education Let me go to other things. Let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. All right, let's take a look at Twitter. We have one tweet coming in from Grace. She says, marijuana prohibition reform has bipartisan support for how many other items heard well into the night by the Texas legislature. Is that true? And then Ben says marijuana use in Texas should be restricted to medical use only, sort of like handicap placards. What do you guys think about uh, medical marijuana? Where None of these bills that were heard this week had to do with, with that, but could that be the first thing that we see passed. I don't think I don't think we should even deal with a medical marijuana bill because all that does is people then open up these storefronts with doctors and you go in there and say I have a headache. Okay, here's a prescription for marijuana. That that experiment completely failed in California. They have just as many pot stores in Mar in California as they do in Colorado and California only has a medical marijuana bill. I think it's a waste of time. Either make it either make it legal or keep it criminal, but don't mess with these in between things because it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't it's not going to help to make it just for medical marijuana. No, and, and when you look at our leading Republican contenders, the ones who are our leading contenders for the uh, presidential race, all of them have said that this is a state's rights issue. Uh, none of them have touched how they personally feel, if they feel it should be legalized or decriminalized. They've all said it goes back to the states. So when you look at the leading Republican contenders and then you look at a strong red state like Texas, you're going to see a lot of them, a lot of our leaders also say, this is up to the individuals in the state. And when you have polls saying only 39% of those polled believe that we should change the laws or legalize marijuana, that's pretty much saying that this state is going to continue to follow the laws the way it is currently. And we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, the legislature spending a great deal of time on, on the right of an individual to smoke pot. And I have to say again that this segment was not brought by Doritos. <laughs>